so it's 2023 and rooting your phone is still as exciting as it was two years back hello everyone my name is kalash and you're watching phone ops we make amazing tech content like this every single day so this would be a great time to share it with your friends family anybody who has a smartphone and probably everybody these days does so without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops let's get going Now what we have right here is my POCO X3 Pro, the lone warrior, not for many days. We're going to get a couple of interesting devices soon. But it is of course running MIUI 14.0.2, the Indian update, and I've just installed TWRP on it. So the first thing that you guys need to know is you need to have an unlocked bootloader, be it a Xiaomi, Redmi, POCO or any other company that allows you to unlock the bootloader and you need to have a custom recovery like TWRP installed. Now once you've figured that out, you are good to go my friends. All you need to do is you need to go to Google and you need to look for majisk.apk. The link for the same is mentioned in the description. There is one more file that you will need that is the safety net fix and you need to download that zip as well. Now once that is taken care of, let me do the honors, right? So all the files are downloaded in our phone's internal memory, okay? And uh, we are good to go. Just make sure you have decent enough battery because I'm running low on battery, but I'm okay with taking risk on my X3 Pro. It's been dead once already. So you need to press and hold volume up and power till the time you see the POCO logo. Just like that, we are booting into TWRP. All right, now as you can see, we are in TWRP, so we're gonna install Majisk first. So as you can see, select this, swipe to confirm flash. Now, not only that, in this video, I'm also going to show you the provisions to make sure your Google Pay, Phone Pay, your banking applications, everything works as intended. So stay till the end. Okay, Majisk is installed, no errors, brilliant signs, right? Now let's reboot to system. All right, so at this point, we've booted into the system once again, and we should have what is called a, you know, half installed or half baked Majisk APK, and it just appeared somewhere here. So we are yet to do the setup. You'll get this message, hit OK on that. Make sure you're connected to the internet while you do this. All right, now as you can see, Majisk has been updated. It says requires additional setup, so hit OK on this. And if you get an option to select direct install, go ahead and do that. That is the easier way. So let's click on let's go. So it's going to recycle the system. That means it's going to boot back into system. And this time we should have working root access. But wait, hold on, don't go anywhere because we are not done yet. This is half the job done. That means we've got root access, but we still have to tell the system that boss, we are unrooted, which means backing applications should be working. Let's get that done. All right, now as you can see, we've booted back into the system and this time we should be able to get into Majisk. All right, looks like we have Majisk installed. So we need to configure a few settings, but let me show you here. So we're gonna check for safety net. This is what I wanted to share with you, okay? So run safety net attestation and it will fail right now. So we have to fix this. As you can see, it is failing, which means it will not allow banking applications to work. So let's go to Majisk and let's go to Majisk settings, okay? Enable DNS over HTTPS, then enable Zygisk, enforce the deny list and configure the deny list, all right? Now in the deny list, you need to click this three dot menu and select show system apps. So first we are going to type in play, right? That's, that's for Google Play, right? So as you can see over here, things like Facebook, Instagram. So basically we're going to hide from it, it from the Google Play Store and we should have Google Play services as well. Okay, that's Google Play services. Now you need to expand this and you need to enable it for unstable, all right? Now apart from this, also remember to enable this feature that is the deny list for your banking apps. For example, for me it is HDFC and Google Pay or say for that matter, Phone Pay over here. So let's go ahead and deny it for Phone Pay as well. And as a whole, I prefer to, you know, go ahead and uh, deny it for almost all the Google apps so that uh, you don't have any problems with using Google apps on this device. As you can see, there are quite a lot of them and this can take some time, but that's okay. You have to only do it once and it should not create any problems for you going forward, right? Now you might also want to do this for games like PUBG New State because they can create issues as well. Now, once you've done all of this, the deny list is ready. There's just one step left to do. Okay, you need to go to modules and select install from storage. 
Safety net fix is something that you need to install. Hit OK. And then reboot. Now, I think we are ready. Let's allow the phone to reboot and we'll do a safety net check, right? And we will also see if Google Pay is working. And if that works, which I'm pretty sure it will, we will have a device which has root access and banking applications working on the latest Android and MIUI version in 2023. That's good, right? Let's wait for it to boot up again. All right, moment of truth. We've booted into system and do a safety net test. As you can see, it is passing and even if I open my banking applications like HDFC, as you can see, they're opening just fine. So all in all, this was a step-by-step -step guide to have root access and get banking applications to work on any Android device in 2023. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Subscribe and share to support us. I'll see you in the next one. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye. You know that you control me. Guilty self-affliction. Pray on me when I'm lost